I'm going to give a very quick uh, presentation about some of the tools, the data, and how you can get started mapping. Uh, so first I want to present uh, Volker Schmidt. He's one of the top mappers from Mapillary. Uh, he's based here near Pasqua. And Volker has his bicycle with a mobile phone and camera mounted, uh, okay. which he can use to collect photos and throughout the streets here in Padua. So this is a great way to collect imagery and also turn it into a resource to use when improving maps, uh, including OpenStreetMap or your own maps. Uh, so, talking about Mapillary in relation to free and open source software, uh, the mission that we have at Mapillary is to make an image representation of the entire world. Uh, so it's a database of spatial features that are inside those images, and then we make this accessible for others to use in their maps. The users who take the photos, they own them and share with the Creative Commons by Share Like license. And particularly with OpenStreetMap, uh, we provide open and free access to the imagery, uh, as well as the data extracted for improving OpenStreetMap. And some of our open source projects within Mapillary include Mapillary.js. This is our library for viewing images and navigating between them. Uh, so this is on GitHub and completely open. Uh, it's based on WebGL and JavaScript. We also are maintaining OpenSFM, uh, which is for structure from motion. And this is a computer vision uh, pipeline for reconstructing scenes in three dimensions from photographs. We have the Mapillary tools for processing uh, images with geotags and timestamps to upload them to our servers. And we have integrations with OpenStreetMap, including the ID editor and the plugin for Jossman. Uh, we have mobile SDKs released this year for Android and iOS, so these help handle creating GPX <laughs> Uh, interpolating GPS data between photos and and more features that make it so you could have Mapillary in your own mobile applications. As far as open data, uh, we're very focused, as I mentioned, on providing this to communities. So we have individual users, we have businesses, nonprofits, governments, they are all collecting imagery throughout the world. And because they all come to Mapillary, it becomes a form of open data. So open data is not just shapefiles, GeoJSONs, but it can be the JPEG, PNG images that we are hosting and serving back to, uh, to map editors. Uh, we also are now extracting point features from images. Uh, so things like trash bins, crosswalks, streetlights, these are now available as GeoJSON data. So we are open to developers who want to make applications for OpenStreetMap and want to have access to this data in order to aid people in improving that map. We have the Complete the Map application. Uh, this was made to help communities plan where they want to capture new images and track progress. So the idea is to turn everything to green squares for 100% progress. Uh, we recently did a winter competition for this and collected several million photos uh, across several continents as well. So it's a great tool for using your local community and for connecting with the global community. And we have GoToMapillary, created by uh, Enrico Ferraguti, who is a member of this community. Uh, this brings the images in Mapillary into QGIS and allows you to get the, the ground level context with pictures uh, relating to the data that you're working on. It's also a very powerful tool. Pick for review is created by Adrien Pedier in France. Uh, this allows you to verify OpenStreetMap data with images or add new attributes, such as handicap access. And finally, Deraviste uh, allows you to create new data by clicking on the images and then adding it to OpenStreetMap. Uh, recently, we released Capture Projects, so this is a new application to help you plan where you want to capture with a grid system. Uh, and finally, we just want to make clear that you can use any kind of camera, GoPro, mobile phone, 360 camera, and all of these are compatible with Mapillary and can get you started on mapping. So whether you're on a bicycle, on foot, or in a car, 
And we welcome any contributions, and it's always open to bring back into OpenStreetMap. Thank you. Thank you.